Categories are the most basic method of grouping content on your WordPress website. Listing your content in one topic or a group of topics that are connected to one another is basically what you're doing when you're adding categories to your blog posts on your WordPress website. It also helps in organizing your blog posts into different sections, such as health, business, sports, lifestyle, you name it. Categories allows you to organize your content, which allows your readers to easily find the information that they need on your WordPress blog. This is one of the most basic and easy ways to organize content on your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and see what kind of categories you can get into if your niche is digital marketing. In this SOP, I'm going to use digital marketing as my niche to give you an example of what kind of categories you can have on your WordPress blog. So as you can see, we have come to digitaldeepak.com. And if I scroll down over here, I can see that there are categories and quite a lot of categories that I can select from. So if as a reader, I want to learn about cryptocurrencies, copywriting, content marketing, book publishing, blogging, I'll find all of those categories right here. So let's go ahead and click on freelancing. As you can see, there are two articles currently published and categorized as freelancing. So if I just want to learn about freelancing as a reader, I'll be very, very happy to find it all right here. Or if I could just go to blogging, again, all the articles on blogging are under one category. So as a reader, it makes it very, very easy for me to find all the articles that I really, really need and are, are relevant to what I want to read upon or maybe, you know, have a career on. So yeah, this is how you can, um, you know, go ahead and categorize your blog posts if you're into digital marketing. However, if you're into health, you can have nutrition, maybe keto, uh, physical health, mental health, whatever you want, right? So it's up to you. You have to do your own research. You have to publish the kind of uh, blog posts that you can have multiple categories for. So without further ado, let's get into the video and see how we can add new categories to our blog posts on our WordPress website. The first step is to log into your WordPress dashboard. All you have to do is type your domain name.com slash WP admin. For example, in my case, it's justwinvalia.com slash WP admin. And as soon as you log into your WordPress dashboard, in the left sidebar, you have to find posts under which you will find the option called as categories. And that is where we need to go. As you can see, I don't really have any categories on my WordPress blog because this is a fairly new website. So all, all you can uh, see over here or find over here is the default categories that WordPress has provided to us, which is uncategorized and we don't really need it. So we'll delete it later. But for now, we will have to add a new category. And since we were taking digital marketing as an example, let's go ahead and uh, add a new category for digital marketing itself. So I'm just going to take, um, let's say, blogging as one of the categories that I'm going to be writing my posts on. And we have to give our slug a name as well. So if you, have no, if you don't know what a slug is, you can go ahead and watch our uh, permanent, permanent link a URL SOP that I have already published. And yeah, you can go ahead and watch that. It will explain to you what a slug is. Um, but over here, since you have to give it a slug name, it basically means um, that it's going to appear on your uh, URL. So for example, if I have chosen affiliate marketing as a category, um, in general, I just want to go ahead and see one of the categories and I've chosen affiliate marketing over here. It, start, it will start appearing on your URL as well, which this right here is your slug. So yeah, I'm just going to give it the same name as I've given the category. We don't want to keep it complicated. Um, you can have a parent category if you like. I'm not going to keep any of the parent categories here, but you can keep it if you like. And uh, we will just give it a description, a very simple description for SEO, for your readers, for yourself, and for all the other users that you might have on your WordPress blog one day. So I'm just going to keep it simple. Hmm. 
and all we have to do is click on add new category from right here and it is started to appear. The next step is to go to our posts and whatever blog posts that you have published under the same category that you have created, you can go ahead and you can add that blog post in your categories. So for example, um, under web posts, I'll just go to quick edit. And from here, I can see that the categories are starting to appear. So I can just unclick uncategorized and click on blogging from here and update it. Perfect. Uh, it's already done. As you can see, it's starting to come under blogging. And if I view this particular post, as you can see, the category has started appearing right here, which is pretty cool, right? Um, all right, so let's go back. And there's another way that you can add a category on your blog post. So for example, if I click on edit on my sample post, in the right hand section, you will find the options for categories. So when you're actually writing the article or when you're actually publishing the article, you can uh, give it a category from right here. So I'm gonna uncheck, uncheck categorize and check on blogging and then update it from right here. And the same thing will start happening. So let's preview our changes. And as you can see, the category is starting to come over here. So yeah, we have successfully added a new category and added posts to our new categories in this video. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed that video. In our next SOP, we will be covering how you can add tags to your posts on your WordPress website. You can go ahead and you can comment your queries, suggestions, or any other video that you would like for us to make in the comment box down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon. This is Justin Walia and I will see you in our next SOP.